In a surprising turn of events, hardliners within Zimbabwe's ruling party ZANU-PF, known as Varkashi, have publicly urged President Emerson Umingagwa to issue an apology to the citizens of Zimbabwe for what they perceive as his delayed assumption of the presidency. This unexpected plea was detailed in a statement released on Wednesday by Varkashi Group running a Facebook page called Operation Restore Legacy. The statement is clear in its demand, expressing that President Umingagwa should acknowledge and apologize for what they claim to be a belated ascension to power. It reads, President Emerson Dambudzo Umingagwa should apologize to the people of Zimbabwe for being president a bit late. Furthermore, the Varakashi group went on to assert that had President Umingagwa assumed office back in 2008, Zimbabwe would now be akin to a first world nation. This assertion adds an interesting layer to the statement, suggesting a belief among some ZANU-PF members that significant opportunities were missed due to what they see as a delay in leadership change. In the words of the Varkashi representatives, the sentiment is straightforward and carries weight. They emphasize the potential impact of an earlier presidency, implying that the course of Zimbabwe's development could have been dramatically altered with a different timeline of events. One can't help but ponder the underlying motivations behind such a bold public appeal from within the ruling party. Speculation may arise regarding internal dissatisfaction or differing opinions on the trajectory of governance under Umingagwa's leadership. President Umingagwa has not yet responded to this call for an apology, and it remains to be seen how this unexpected development will unfold within the political landscape of Zimbabwe. The Varkashi statement serves as a reminder of the complexities within ZANU-PF, hinting at diverse perspectives and expectations even among those at the core of the ruling establishment. The Varkashi group's appeal for an apology from Umingagwa adds a new dimension to the political discourse in Zimbabwe. Whether this call will lead to any tangible outcomes or shifts in political dynamics remains uncertain. However, it undoubtedly underscores the nuanced dynamics at play within the ruling party and the broader national sentiment regarding leadership and accountability.